found the problem. The other one's in there. Well, this apart. It's in three pieces. Put this apart. Oh, I get shot for parts. That's still good. So, I'm about ready to throw my GoPro in the trash. I just recorded what I'm getting ready to tell you now and shut it off so I can set everything up. Went and turned it back on. Now I won't turn it on again. Went through this last night too. I barely used the dang thing and now I don't know what the issue is. Um, so, got bored. We had to fix an oil leak. And try to free up a little bit of extra house powers. So, uh, this is what I got done. I still got to figure out how I'm going to clean that up because I don't have any sanding drums. But, uh, and this here, don't, don't mind my fan noise, it's what we started with. So, yeah, I know most people, they put the gasket up there and they paint it. I don't feel like wasting money on another set of gaskets. So, I sent them up there and I marked them with a Sharpie and it seems to be working. This is not necessarily the right way to be doing it. But, uh, I've got a handy dandy little carbide bit. I've got a couple other ones too, but this one seems to be working the best. I can't go full speed on it because it'll get away from you and it'll make a mess real quick so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and then see if I can't get it rest of it cleaned up maybe put it back on so yeah well that's me making a mess so uh that's where we're at Which honestly is not looking too awful bad. Yeah, that one's that one's a little rough. But now I'm gonna see what I can find to go through and just smooth it out a little bit and then I gotta go through and get all the shavings out so I can get it back on. A little warm in here. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the fan. I'm sure it's noisy. So, uh, as you can see, I, I had changed some stuff around. My purge was oh crap! I threw it in the scrap already. Well, my purge line was just uh, like your oil pressure line. It was that brass tubing. Um, now it is quarter inch brake line. Um, seems to be much better. The other one, it would it'd take forever to purge down if I needed it to. So, I changed that up because, well, you know, I had really nothing better to do other than everything else in here. Axle's back together. I just got to put fluid in it. I'm going to let the silicone sit up a little bit before I put fluid in it. Uh, and as of right now, I actually got my lockouts working. Which... They haven't worked in I don't know how long. So, at that done, it is other than fluid. Throw the tires on it, do some fine tuning, put the air cleaner on it, and uh, test it and see what it's going to do. Uh, kind of curious. I've made some changes. Uh, wasn't really going to say anything yet until I got a chance to test it, but. Where I was able to get the rest of the parts and the new AFR cylinder heads are on. These are the, these are the uh, apparently the biggest, baddest small block heads that AFR makes. So if these don't do it, make any difference, well, I might be a little upset because it wasn't cheap. Nor was it quick on getting parts. 
all that just for one last bog. I actually wasn't even gonna do it because I was only playing a runner it one more time and I, yeah. I guess it was one of the things I just wanted to see if it's gonna make a difference in the truck. Um, I am, I'm running out of room, running out of money, running out of room, everything. Uh, I was doing more shopping. Got some more stuff for the G bike. Not that I am anywhere near ready for it, but uh, yeah. And uh, I got the the heads on, and valves all adjusted. Leftover rocker arms from Big Boy. So this guy hand me downs, which whatever it works. Uh, It's the first time I had really had to figure up push rod length. Um, there's a, another video. Uh, actually, I found her on TikTok, followed her YouTube. Um, she has the math equation for to figure out how to where to start to get your push rod length. Um, you still need a push rod length checker, which I bought one of those, but. Uh, yeah, Brittany Automotive, she's got a YouTube video on the whole mathematicals on how to figure up if you've got 7 sixteenths or 3 eighths studs and yada, yada, yada. And yeah, I'm horrible at math, but. So yeah, that's uh, about it for this one. Uh, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. <laughs>